Less than 30 years after the Pacific sardine population was deemed recovered, the stock has once again collapsed. Scientists estimate the West Coast population of Pacific sardines has declined by 97% since 2006. Although sardine populations naturally fluctuate in response to shifting climatic conditions, over-harvesting has been blamed for accelerating the stock's decline. The Pacific sardine fishery has been closed for the last three years, and scientists estimate it may be another two decades before the stock is healthy enough to support a commercial fishery. I remember as a kid going out on my dad's boat, and that's when it was like the early 60s, and it dwindled off, and the mackerel came, and the anchovies. And I remember looking at a book, you can get one here on Cannery Row, where have all the sardines gone, and looking at all the pictures of the persaners and the canneries and the women packing the sardines, thinking, wow, that was something, you know. And then get into the 80s, and here I am fishing sardines in Monterey Bay. I thought, wow, here I am, you know, like, Awesome. I'm 76 years old. I don't think, unless something drastically changes, that I'll ever fish sardines again. In 2012, scientists from the National Marine Fishery Service warned the stock was headed for a collapse. Despite this warning, the Pacific Fishery Management Council allowed fishing to continue until 2015. Because the population was already declining and fishing made that worse, the stock is going to have a lot more trouble recovering than it would have been had we stopped fishing earlier. And it's probably not going to come back to levels that support a healthy commercial fishery again until much longer. So ultimately, a trade-off was made to you know, fish in the short term, uh, the last fish that were, that were essentially available. And that's now having this detrimental consequence that may last for decades. Sardines are an important food source for a myriad of marine species on the West Coast, including sea lions, pelicans, and humpback whales. In California, which boasts large numbers of these species, the loss of so many nutrient-rich fish has had devastating consequences. California sea lions have been uh, basically having unusual mortality events, and, and that lasted over that four years when both anchovy and sardines together were really low. Sea lion puffs have been washing up on beaches by the thousands since 2012, most suffering from malnutrition. Scientists estimate that 70% of California sea lion puffs born between 2013 and 2014 died before weaning age due to malnutrition. The Pacific Marine Mammal Center uh, did, uh, I think, a heroic job as first responders of you know, trying to minimize the mortality as much as they could as the, their centers are being flooded at levels they're not used to. You know, there's mortality events in the wild and in natural ecosystems in general, but I think the, the troubling factor is pairing that with you seeing those mortality events at the same time as you're watching tens of thousands of tons of the food that could have kept them alive being removed in fishing nets and brought into ports all up and down the California coast where this is happening. Even though the commercial sardine fishery has been closed for the last four years, you might still see sardines at the fish market. The Pacific Fishery Management Council allows a few thousand metric tons to be harvested annually by fishermen who catch them incidentally or intend to sell them as live bait. The annual catch limit for Pacific sardines this year is going to be 7,000 tons. That's basically nearly 15% of the remaining sardine population, or a harvest rate of about 15%, which basically is the same exact fishing rate that they were trying to put in place as the stock was declining. The difference, though, is that it has to be incidental catch. You can't go out and catch sardines directly. You have to find something else to catch with your sardines. Right? So the way, that, the way that they've put safeguards on is, for example, uh, up to a certain point you can catch 40% of your net can be sardines as long as you have 60% as something else. The same thing happened after Cannery Row. There was a big uh, push to allow incidental catch of sardines and you know, it, it was kind of one of those things where everyone knew what was really going on. This was kind of a, a backdoor way to continue sardine fishing, right? Because all you had to, you can keep for sardine fishing as long as you go out and find something else to catch with it, even if that's not worth anything and your sardines are the real valuable part of the catch. If Pacific sardine biomass falls below 50,000 tons, fishery managers are required to close the live bait fishery and implement a moratorium on incidental harvest. 
In 2018, the estimated sardine stock was only 2,000 tons over this threshold. If current trends continue, it's unlikely the stock will make this cutoff next year. But many fishermen have high hopes that it will. Fishermen are seeing a lot more sardines in the near shore waters. I disagree that the stock is, is declining. In fact, I think, and, and based on fishermen's observations, we think it's increasing. In a recent press release, Plushner Seal called the collapse of the stock fake news and blamed faulty stock assessments for the apparent decline. But not all fishermen share Plushner Steel's idealistic view. We saw the biomass going down and down and down. We were able to, to catch fish, and we had quotas. We were able to catch the quotas, but we saw less sardines every year. It's, you know, there's a lot of people that are affected by the sardines not being around. Serious reforms need to be made so that we ultimately prevent this from happening again. Why didn't we do more? Why didn't we do something about it? Why have we not learned from this mistake and actually reformed our management so that we have higher cutoffs, so that we leave these stocks alone when they're declining? We were fishing over 40% of all the sardines left during 2013, according to last stock assessment. We removed 40% of all the sardines left while they're in free fall mode collapsing, right? And there is no admission recognition that a mistake was made, that they did anything wrong, or that any changes need to happen. And instead, despite all the requests we've made to make a more precautionary fishery, the council and the National Marine Fisheries Service are simply going the other way and saying, let's fish more aggressively and let's let more people fish than our fishery management plan currently allows. And I think that the fact that, that that's happening right now, that's the most troubling part of this whole story is just this simple lack of responsibility for what happened.